So sati is, is mindfulness. This is our basic quality of, of paying attention. Sampajanya is commonly translated as clear comprehension or all around awareness. Uh, and um, this actually is a, this particular word, there's a lot of debate about uh, what it's talking about. Uh, Sampajanya in the suttas almost always comes together with sati. Uh, I'm actually not, I'm not sure it's ever spoken about separately from sati. Uh, but Sampajanya is, is normally considered to have uh, an aspect of wisdom uh, to it. Uh, so it's it's awareness, um, but awareness not in a, a dull receptive sense, but an awareness that has a clear, thorough understanding. So the prefix sang can mean thorough uh, or all around, and pajanya means to know or to understand. It's actually related to the word panya. So sampajanya is this thorough, clear, all around knowing. Uh, so you're not just aware of what's happening, but you have a deep understanding of, of its significance. And sati and sampajanya are prerequisite qualities for apamada. So in order to be vigilant and heedful, then you need to be paying attention and you need to understand what's going on. Um, but paying attention and understanding does not necessarily mean that you're going to be vigilant and heedful. So you do need to make an effort. So for example, you can be completely mindful of anger arising in your mind, completely mindful as you fuel and build up that anger and completely mindful as you start yelling obscenities at the person in front of you. Uh, so just having mindfulness does not mean that you have apamata, does not mean that you have heedfulness. Um, heedfulness is that extra trait, which is like, okay, I'm aware of the anger arising and I'm aware that this is really bad and I'm aware that I need to do something about it right away. Uh, and you choose to pull back from that anger and refrain from fueling it. That would be the function of apamata. Uh, 